Thank you so much to all of you who returned to campus during phase one. I have had many, many comments about how well you were doing, both in your attitudes to learning and the way that you followed all health and safety guidance in place. For those who continue to learn remotely, I would like to say a huge thank you for the engagement and hard work you have shown all year. This will certainly give you the best opportunity to achieve and progress to your next steps. Please continue with this effort into our third and final term of this academic year. You will already be aware that we can return to some face-to-face -face learning after the Easter break on the 12th of April. For some of you, this may mean a return to the timetable you followed in September, but for others there may be some changes. Your tutor will tell you when to return and which room you will be in to start with. It is really important to attend all your classes, whether they are delivered remotely like skills, AST or tutorials, or they are back on site for practical sessions. As in any other year, your tutors will work with you to prepare you for assessments and progression. We are receiving lots of information from awarding bodies about how you will be assessed this year. So you need to follow guidance from your tutors, either online or in class, to ensure that you know what you need to do to achieve. We've asked that you complete a learner agreement form before you attend site. This is so you are clear about the health and safety guidance in place on campus and what will happen if you do not comply. So remember, if you feel unwell or if anyone in your house has any of the three COVID symptoms, so that's a new continuous cough, a high temperature or a loss of taste or smell, you must not attend campus. You should complete the COVID-19 notification form or let your campus office know. On your first day, you will be welcomed at the entrance by our campus staff. You should already know which classroom or workshop you will be working in, but if you're unsure, they'll be able to help you. We will give you a new washable three-ply face covering, which you must wear at all times in college. This includes during your lessons and in all communal areas. Our canteens will be open, but they will be providing a grab-and-go selection that you can purchase during the day. Of course, you might prefer to bring your own food and drinks with you, and that's absolutely fine. You might want to wear some warmer clothes because we are going to be opening our windows regularly to keep rooms ventilated. And when you finish your college day, you should travel home straight away. College buses will be running and you should continue to wear face coverings when you use the transport. All of these measures are put in place to minimise the possibility of transmission of the COVID virus. And thank you for the respect that you show to our staff and to each other by adhering to our guidance. If you have any worries, please contact your tutor before coming to campus. If you have any concerns whilst you're on campus, please speak to any member of staff and they will help you. We look forward to seeing you all from a safe distance and helping you continue your learning and achieving your qualifications.